Hi boys, new video programming the used ECM on a Chevy GM vehicle. This is a 13 or 14 Chevy Express van and um, I'm doing a new video because I got a lot of questions. There's a lot of changes to TechLine Connect since the last video I did, I believe in the middle of 2022 and that software they were updating it basically almost every day. It was so bad in those days it would crash on a crash update. It would crash. You got to uninstall everything, reinstall it. It's a lot better than it was now. Um, they fixed a lot of things. So we're going to do a new video program and use ECM so you guys can stop asking the same questions over and over. So here we go. First thing, guys, you're going to want to launch TechLine Connect. You need to log in and make sure you have an available uh, subscription available. And we're going to launch TechLine Connect. Uh, today we're using the VCX Nano to do this job. Um, the link will be in the description if you need it. Guys, make sure you're hitting that thumbs up button, man. Uh, it's doing any all the updates to check, and I do have the current software. I this this stuff is going so viral. The stuff that I do, my work is so effective. GM TechLine Connect banned me for this. The game I'm giving you guys, man. I am banned from them, man. Yeah, they hate your boy, man. Hit that like button, support your boy. Like to this channel, subscribe to this channel. Uh, check out the members area. I got a lot of good tools, stuff that you're gonna need. Uh, this is the best channel you can get on this kind of stuff. They hate your boy over here. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna wanna enter in your um, VIN number manually, as I just did here. And you're gonna tell it accept. That's what we have in Express. Then you press select uh, at the bottom, and now you're going to uh, select your interface. In my case, this is the interface I'm using. You're going to select the one you're using. You're going to tell it continue. At this point, I turn the ignition on. And we're going to accept the uh, express. That's what this is. Now, here's where it tells you that um, it detected a different VIN because the ECM that's in the car right now is used from a different vehicle. So we're gonna tell it to override. So we can do this right now on this version. It works now. And this will work if it's a non-global A vehicle, you'll be able to do this. But on global A vehicles, you definitely wanna check out my other videos. And um, and I've got a lot of tools and hacks and things to get this done. You know, they're trying to stop you from using products that you own, a vehicle that you own, you know, and things that maybe sometimes are not gonna be available for you to purchase at all. GM, if you're watching this, you know, you know it's wicked and you know it's wrong what y'all are doing, man. There's some people on certain parts of the country or the world rather they don't have certain access to acquire certain things and you know what y'all y'all are doing it wrong you know exactly why you're doing it and it has nothing to do with the excuses you make do the right thing let people use the products they pay for we're going to click on sps here on the side yeah and they're watching by the way because they watch all my videos and now we're going to go to next Now we're gonna select ECM because that's what we're replacing used here. Again, this will work on a non-global A vehicle like this. It's gonna take one of your VIN slots and we're gonna tell it to proceed. Make sure you guys hit the like button again. Check the description, check out the members areas. A lot of good tools, uh, virgin files. In case you do have to work on a global A vehicle and it's not available, you can use it. Hit that uh, like button, boys. Okay, it's going to show the calibrations and all of that. Um, and we're definitely going to accept that. That's what this is. And we're going to tell it to override again because we're going to use the VIN that we entered and not what's showing up in the ECM because the ECM is incorrect. Now on the fuel system, you see it's unchecked and this is grayed out because we need to select the fuel system. So fuel system, and we're just gonna select the latest one. Just select the latest one here, and now we can do next. Actually, before I do that, let me check my RPO codes because this vehicle is a um, a uh, passenger van, so a uh, bus. And on this vehicle, the RPO codes are here. Um, you can also check your RPO codes by your VIN number. Um, you can Google that. And ours is NC7, right? So the RPO codes are in alphabetical order. So it will be that one. Hit next. 
and it shows the uh, calibrations we're going to tell it to start programming get in a tool lock and it's going to start downloading the files from the server at that point it's going to start um, reprogramming the uh, the ECM There it is, it's programming. So if this is capable and it's perfectly fine to do it, let's say on a 2013 vehicle, why would it not be okay or possible to do it on a 14, right? Exact same process for the exact same reasons. You see that? I'll bring you guys back in a second. All right, it got to about right there and we've got action complete. Okay, we'll view that later. So it gives you all the information on your um, update. So we're going to, let's do a clear DTCs. It's going to clear all the codes and then we're going to uh, do a theft deterrent relearn. DTCs have been cleared. We're going to tell it OK. We're going to go to proceed with same VIN. And, and you see the theft deterrent module there? That's not the one you want. You actually want vehicle theft deterrent. This will have the relearn function. As you can see there, it's selected learn there. All right. So now we're going to go to next. And we're going to select replaced ECM right there. Then we're going to tell it next. Let's check in our VIN slots. Giving you guys the game, man. Make sure you hit that like button, man. Your boy is banned for giving you all the game, man. right tell it next next make sure you have your AC any accessories off so it doesn't drain the battery because this takes sometimes about 12 minutes and that's a wait timer yeah so this is an updated version for the people saying hey they don't realize this software has so many bugs and it crashed uh, back when it was first released so often and it's uh, a lot better now it actually is pretty functional so 13 minute wait 12 minute wait guys bring you back in a second all right eight minutes to go um, again this only works on non-global a vehicles. so if you've got a global a vehicle and you're trying to do this on it's not going to work uh you're definitely going to want to subscribe to the channel check in the description hey uh we're going to bring you up to the front of the congregation i'm going to lay hands on you and give you the holy manuscripts and we're going to make it work you know we you know you've got needs there's budgets everything and we're going to make it happen on this channel click that thumbs up button guys also, I'm now offering remote consultation services. So if you need some help remotely, uh, trying to get something programmed, something that seems like it won't work, they tell you won't work, give me a shout. Uh, you've got my email there in the description as well. Um, nine chances out of 10, it's a good chance I can make it work. GM has banned me for a reason because they know I do this stuff. I've got clients all over the world getting solutions from Russia, from Angola, South America. Uh, shout out shout out to all the guys that have reached out to me all over the world. Go ahead and, and, and drop a, a comment there in the, in the uh, comment section, boys. When they try to give you problems on this channel, we're about solutions, right? Again, guys, check the other content on the channel. We even show you how to clone the modules, all of that. TCMs, everything. 
All right, this vehicle, once you put in the ECM, it's a no crank. Uh, so you, you turn the key, it won't do anything. Um, so now that the theft deterrent relearn is going to be completed, you should get a crank. Now, I don't know if the battery is drained on this thing, but we're going to try it once it's done and see if we get a crank. All right. Complete. There it is, boys. All right. So we'll just do proceed. Let's do clear DTCs. And then we're going to do a proceed with save VIN. And let's check it out. Let's see if we get a try. At least it tries to crank. Not sure if it will, like I said, if the battery's drained, but we're going to give it a try. All right. Coming back online here. I believe this van has a 6.0 again e38 ecm successfully cleared let's give it a try boys let me try off on nothing see if the theft light goes out okay let me check the codes here Okay guys, connected with my scanner and the VIN number was changed successfully. And here are the here's the codes, P0633. And this is was before it was programmed. These were the codes that was throwing. So if you see these codes, there is has not been learned the theft deterrent system. But that code simply means that the code was uh it should probably say immobilizer not synced. But since the immobilizer line is out, it is programmed. Um, what it means is that the vehicle has not been started. If you read this in the red, you'll, you'll understand it better. You can pause it. But basically, you need to start the vehicle after it's been programmed, and it will automatically clear out that code. But since the vehicle is not started because there's a no-start condition, possibly the starter is not connected. This van just came from an auction. I don't know if um, maybe a relay's out, something like that. So... Once you fix the no start condition, the car will start and that code can be cleared. And that's pretty much it. This uh, document I put here kind of explains that to you in case somebody runs into this code P0633 and it's a bit confusing. So click that thumbs up button, guys, and subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one.